Hallelujah. And I pay a day in young couple as sick as say, we be crying at the sea. Am I in? Nan Yamme on Concron, and they are two of mine Ghana. In penny for a crystal, some empenny for so say, Yin, I am married in him. Na Yamon Pine. Na yin young couple on a sum, no bad year, and so praise the Lord. Yano Peno, Yadan Yamiasi, a busy cheer and papa, and chairman apostle in Yamiche, and general secretary apostle, Nana Yakumila B. Yeah, I am the apostle Manu de Siado. And I feel yeah, Papa Nunina, near my minimina. And a Ghana, a penifonina, Yamisum penifonina, all the leaders of the communicar councils. Yada Masibri, now Yabon Pai say, A Pancha Mudiama in Yankupon, Ankasa, or the Sakaya Kesebeba or my Ghanamo. Praise the Lord. And then Yamiasama, Yabacha, we are going to share the word of God. And today, our topic or what we'll be looking at is call on your God. Sufre wunyam kopon. Sufre wunyami. Sufre wunyami. Or call on your God. And rumi wa yame de pa. Fre irade. No be de wusu. Na ka wasem tren. No be ye nina. O ni wa kumem. Unimwa tinimu o frado yande no badi o nimwa kome unimwa tinimu e frado yande no badi so praise the lord and so I want us, we are going to go through the word of God. Call on your God. Now, they say, Oh God, heal our land. Oh, Yanyankopon. Yasasi Yare. Eradisa Yasasi Yare. Where empire? Ah, Yesu Afre Unyankopon. Ewohu. Na Sampai Boya and Eda Yenisu Ayeye. And I'm passing you soon and no maybe and I didn't pay me no see any so now you're shiny you better me as soon after and in my Bible Eka 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 and I'm going to let us look at these two people critically in this topic that I've chosen and we are going to look at Jonah and then also we are going to look at Jabez we are looking at Jonah and then we will also look at Jabez I will want to read the Bible in three Medin Kain Akain Jonah and Momano, a trip back home, name him a noom, and a in Siano Jonah and Momano, a trip back on him a noom, and in Sia, or Modia said, or Bible bear, also baby Jonah chapter one, verse five and six. Na a shenumu for you now, throw it. Now what tent you move for a frail one in Yami? Now what to two a shenumu. A dragging in a gugu a punum, said a bayer hare amawum. And so you're not dear. Now we're sending a co a co or seno yem a corner hate. Verse six. And I send mu penino call you nan chain. And Obisano said, What a patch let's say empty. I will ah, what a hattie. Obisano said, What a patch let's say in tia. What a hattie. Sorry, so flow, yummy. Se ebia or bad genie yen hon na yan to ewa ha. Mama yanka amen pa. I want to read that one in New King James. I'm still reading from uh, Jonah. Jonah chapter 1. Jonah chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. Jonah 1, 5 and 6. Brofono say. Brofono, the NIV. Uh, new international version. All the sailors were afraid, and each one cried out to his own God. And they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone below deck, where he lay down and fell into a deep sleep. Verse 6. Then the captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he will take notice of us so that he, so that we will not perish. 
Maybe you will take notice of us and we will not perish. King Kaisema etosumi you know, Mephi First Chronicles chapter four, verse nine and ten. First Chronicles chapter four, verse nine and ten. I'll read the English first. NIV. And Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying that I gave birth to him in pain. And Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so that I'll be free from pain. And God granted his request. Jabez cried to the God of Israel, Oh, that you bless me and enlarge my territory. That your hand will be with me and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Hallelujah. And so can you see now? Now, Yabes, Nya, and you yam sin in Yanum. Now, then a tune in Yabes, if we say or can say, may the ya and a won't know. Now, Yabes, Fred is lying, Uncle Pong. Say, Sanka Uri Shrame, now what Tremishimu, now one sa Edimichi, now one ma bonibi, I'm a yammy, na yabi, I'm a camie, now on Yanko Pong, and my dear Australian, no, a bemo, Mama Yanka, I'm in pa. Oh, praise the Lord. Adolfonum, Zani Pamia Nuya Maka wants me very, very, very important. And I have been to me, Sia Bibi, a war, a dear, a sea, a new sua, a ye, empire, a year, bo, and then Kotrusra, yes, on Yanko Pono. We are, I'm going to give more attention to Jabez, Mesha Jabez Bibri. But let me quickly look at Jonah, and then I will come to Jabez. Remember that we are preaching on a topic. Call on your God. Sufre wunyami. Sufre wunyami. Sufre wunyami. And we are going to uh, get there. In the day of trouble, da asemban. Da asemban. Yeshu shef yu bia wasa obe freni nyan kopon. Ha. Yeshu shef yu bia wasa obe freni nyan kopon. Da amanebe ba. Da asembe ba no. Nipa mba. So bi nsum nyami mpua. Samere no. Or kind and coupon or to shenya maybe now. No, no, Bible no extreme is the same. I mean, truth that we see in this story about Jonah. I read the Bible says that God has sent the prophet Jonah on a journey, God has sent him to Nineveh to go and preach and warn them about their sins. Say, we'll be teaching your man, seven hours sacrifice you won't burn any name before one burn anything. And I'm a summa or default you now. No default you now who say, No, you mean I'm a summa and say, I'm a day. Or cast our best self umpo. Now we go akuma we nim. Now we bring one sin. Now bomb fire. Oh, yami obetiye. Oh, praise the Lord. It is not that God is not consistent or God is not committed to His word. But you see, God is good. And sometimes when the righteousness of God is dealing with you, and you humble yourself, and you have a broken spirit before God, then another attitude of God will be at play. The goodness of God will be triggered. The love of God will be triggered. The mercies of God will be triggered. And you know, say, we na men no. Asima waka chemi kuduwa kofu isuka krape. What do we want bani beche wo? And then me bomb pa say Abraham Ghana Yesu. O nyame di emboni ni na beche yen. Na o nyame obeti yen. Oh praise the Lord. And you know, say men ko nyame di obet Daniel fi ne plan no men ko. And to mention your donor, oh yeah, he was running away from God. Now we're running your mere worship, I say. And the donor, I call ship him a watch that say Oko Yupa, Uncle Neneve, Oko Yupa. Now what 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 we could see in your copo? Now no, the Bible say your men the nensa I can't ship no kakra. Now and from my elbow, now no man you know about such things were destabilized. Now ni pana we worship him. Bible say, Obia started so of friend in Yankopo. When you know what kind say, Obia and Shishan in Yankopo. I tell you, when there is trouble, when there is danger, Emraya will mean Yamraya Diagro, Emraya Susay in Yankopo. Praise the Lord. And you'll see, Obia Shishan in Yankopo, Obia has five and I say, Obia started so of soon a friend in Yankopo. And now, the captain of the ship went down there the deck. He met one gentleman who was sound asleep. And on Yan and say, Near wood, they know better what's resting. Your sleep talks. 
your sleep, it talks. Today, now, person will chill. When it's time to pray, it is not time to sleep. When you are sleeping in the time of prayer, it talks about you. We don't need a captain who is not a Christian. We have been blessed. We have found our Christian fathers and mothers, our leaders on the land. We call of us up. And they said three days fasting and prayer. And I tell you, this is time to call your God. Oh, hallelujah. And that is so wonderful about that life that we picked from Jonah. But let's look at Jabez briefly. Let's look at Jabez. Near your king Kaino. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter four, verse nine and ten. Aye, eh, brace us, Sam. It's three and nine. Name and crown, echo, a do not your king kind. Eh, yeah, yeah. You think I I love that story. I want to pick it again. In chi. Now, yabes nya and you nyam sin in your num. Now, then I turn it in yabes every say. I can say. May the year and a war a war no. Now, Yabes Frey Israel and Copon said, Sanka Urish Rami, now what three miss you mu? Now, what my one sa edimichi, now one ma bonimi an yame, now ya be a me come here, and on yan coupon, madia or sreno a bim. Oh, hallelujah. Yabes wants a besame chemian, sir. Besame chemian, sir. Bakuye, oh, we do a one friend in Yabes. One part I may know. Oh, Rebu, why your friend Yabes? Part I told me, no, no, yeah. Yabes, eh, born and pie. Yabes, born pie, she is right, young coupon. And on the toss of me and son, he said, Na o young coupon, she, Mr. Fred. There was a man called Jabez. Jabez prayed to the Lord, and the God of Israel granted his request. There was a man called Jabez. There was a man called Jabez. And when we read the Bible, the Bible introduced that man. Now, let's get to meet Jabez. Mama, you see who are your friend Jabez. Jabez is somebody from Judah. Ebusiyam. Judah Ebusiyam is Israel. Ebusiyam is a man who is a man who is a man who is a man who is a man They are leaders. They are strong men of war. They are strong men of war. They are leaders. And they are so special. In fact, everybody in Judah is special. You see it right there. Now, Yeshe Yabeza, now of Israel, Busia Kumuno, near Tress and near Mebuwa, send your Judah Funyan art and on also in the life of the Bayasa, but you do your best. So I said, Bibi Akakakra, there is a sudden strangeness that is introduced uh, when we follow the Bible and we get to the brother that is called Jabez. That is called Jabez. And what is that strangeness? Nidikaino, yeah, money for pedin in the mamidi. When you are reading the Bible in First Chronicles, the first nine chapters, you will see, and this gave birth to this, and this gave birth obia papa nana is clearly in line. But when the writer kept on, the scribes kept on writing. They in chapter four, obuba edu, verse nine. Now no we hurry he sim. We don't know. Then the link is broken. Then he suddenly begins to talk about somebody called Jabez. We don't see the link as to who is the father, who is the grandmother, who is the grandfather. It is something strange about Jabez. But Jabez said, The brothers are not really mentioned. She said, "Be another Bible, no person can say brothers now all can about Jabez. He, he meant his contemporary. But what I want to say is that the link is clearly broken, and we don't see his brothers. And then we are also told the third thing, the third strange thing about Jabez is that we are told that it was his mother who named him. In Israel, who mommy too this In Israel, your mom is the one. Even in Ghana or even in the Bible, we see that it is the man who must name." Uh, the child we don't see so so what is really the story what is what is what is going on with Jabez? so where where was the dad where was the dad is it that the dad was dead not Jabez the papa way not the papa who are now and i know new and i say like we say in ghana on you say one one year for now 
Or where was the dad? Was he an irresponsible father? Where was he? Yeah. But the Bible says that the mom went on and named the boy. And the name that he gave to the boy was Jabez. Jabez. And the meaning of Jabez, as we are here to know, is somebody who caused me pain. The mother said, you are Jabez. And your name, you caused me pain. Jabez is the the one who caused the mom pain and that is the name so that what are the implications of that name he will cause you pain and not only that somebody who also suffer pain because it's also a curse in that sense the mother will not only say your name is the one who caused me pain he wants to say that you have caused me pain and you may suffer for it in that sense, we are looking at it in two ways. When he misses you, he will cause you pain. And then he himself too will suffer pain in the world. Now, when you read the Bible, anytime it could be that the mother was in the pain of childbirth. Normally, in Israel, at least we know in the life of Rahel and Jacob, said, out of frustration, they're able to name the child. And we see it in the life of Benoni, huh? Benjamin, a year Jacob, Nere Rahel, all what bread too much in the do baby na owu, and I say Abu Frey Wahame Wahame will be called Benoni. That is a case. The father was there. The Jacob said, No, he will not be called Benoni, he will be Benjamin. Now, Bible moons, so if you read the Bible very well, the Bible in the book of the Tronomy, Bible say, So Bakasem, Nane Papa. Now, Samuel Wakano, a brosso, and never back as a machine, it will not work. The Bible said that is so. If a wife makes a statement and the husband says no, it will be the other round, it is so. And so, if the father of Jabez was around, he could have said that no, I refuse that. He would rather be called this. But we don't see the man and we don't know why we don't see him. The mother goes on and names the boy Jabez. And, ladies and gentlemen, as Jabez begins to grow, and as life comes up to him, and as he finds his place in life, he realizes that I did be a cause on Whether at the time an animal may know, say later an animal may demand at the name is ceremonial, whatever the Bible doesn't give us. All we know is that the mother gave him that name because he said he caused him pain. Could be that the father misbehaved, and so the naming day he said, call him that we don't know, and we must respect the silence of the Bible. But what we are trying to say is that maybe as he grew up. He saw that whatever happened was not just worse. Maybe when he added one to two, it wasn't working out. He saw that life was a struggle. He was in trouble. He was in trouble. That is what I want to say. He realized that I love this song that Reverend Joe Bichem has. I said, it's one disappointment at Chimiari. No way. Then you say, No way. And the word, and the man, my man, you Asha Soho, Nama Bomi Yame Empire, Nama Kade Eradia Somimo, Namaba. So, Joby Chan say that if I continue to, I mean, on, on men, they will be disappointed. Time. I know what to do when I'm in trouble. I'll let my eyes onto the heavens. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, I will lift my eyes onto the heavens and I will say, Oh God, I have come. Oh God, I come just as I am. And I know that man when you go to him that way. Oh, hallelujah. You are ordinary, you are nobody, but when you go to him that way, the Bible says you receive grace and mercy to help in time of need. You receive it. And so, I was trying to let you try to experience uh, this guy called Jabez and I was only trying to let you know that maybe as he began to grow up he saw that life is not easy when maybe when he woke up from childhood and now he had to come up with life he realized that it's not a joke then what did he do I come to the second part of my presentation Jabez prayed to the God of heaven I love Jabez. He did something about the situation. Jabez did not sit down and continue in trouble. When things are not working, do something about it. 
Jabez did something about the situation. What did he do? He prayed. He prayed. What Jabez did was that he prayed about the situation. Our dear father, our chairman, our person, Yamiche, has said that the Christian's normal response to danger is prayer. He has said that when things are not going the right way or when everything is not working, you, the Christian, the sister will hear the sister will be high. And one of Jabez here, who said, Yaman Koyin, then he turned to prayer and he loved that. I love that he did something and I love that he prayed. In the Bible, they did something and they prayed. Hezekiah, a doom review on him, be a friend of Zenekarim, up to our channel. So this was a mightier and a fiercer king than him. The Bible says that he prayed. He rose up and did something. He prayed. Josiah prayed. Hannah prayed. The Bible said one day, one day when, I mean, uh, they were at the first one in Jerusalem. One day, first Samuel chapter 1, verse 9. Hannah rose up. Hannah, sorry. No, yeah, then he went into the temple and prayed. Today, there are so many people. Many things are going wrong. But they will just not pray. They will not go to the one who can change the situation. I pray that you take this in your life when things are not adding up. You must rise up in prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, prayer is the natural thing to do. It's what we must resort to when we are in trouble. Bible says, is anyone in trouble? Let him pray. That's what the Bible said. Is anyone glad and happy? Let him sing. But when we are in trouble, we must pray and pray. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible said, we must pray. We must pray. And we must pray. We must pray and we must pray and we must pray. And we are right now, we find ourselves in trouble. COVID-19 is trouble enough. Many people have died. Many people are still dying. Over the world, there are more than 2.5 million people who have caught the virus. And over 175,000 have died already. So we are in trouble. And one of the right things to do is to rise up to pray. To rise up to pray. We must rise up and pray like the way Jabez rose up. We look to the left and so life is not normal. I see other things happening. Other people going on. But for me, life is not normal. I must do something. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not in normal times. And near my course, we normal. We must pray. We must pray like Jabez prayed. We must pray like the demand of the captain of the ship of Jonah. He said, rise up and pray to your God. We must pray. As I say, you pray in Yankupon. Oh, hallelujah. And, and one thing I have for you now, why are we that we must pray? We thank God for the leaders he has given us. And we must pray and believe God with them and turn the situation around. Jabez in Paimon. The Bible says that he called on the God of Israel. Jabez did not just mean words. No, your prayer must be intentional. And Jabez said, I have an issue with God. I'm going to God. And I'm speaking with him. God is before me. And we are dealing with this issue. And the Bible says, he called on the God. He said, oh God, I need your attention on this issue. He called on the God of heaven, the maker of heaven and earth. The one who has absolute power. The one who alone can change situation. He called him. He went to the court up there where the judge is seated. He went to the throne room of God where the king was. And then he called on God. He called on God. Person I said, who do you call on when you are in trouble? Is it your friend? Oh, I can't take it any longer. Let me call Janet. Let me call Akos. Who is the first person you call when you are in trouble? The Bible says, call on me. Sufre me, na mechoso. Praise the Lord. Bible says, no me ni obia ade ni re show ni pebu. Bible says that curse is any man who puts his trust in man or rests on the arm of flesh. It will fail you. Jabez knew God and called him in the day of trouble. Do you know God? Uni mo nyankupong. Bible says in the book of Romans chapter ten verse fourteen a, he says that how then can they call on him whom they have not believed? How can you call on God? Ebesiden, ena wafro nyami awu ni ni. 
And you see, if in the day of trouble, every human being must call unto God, then it means that every human being must know God. Now, how necessary, if you are listening to me right now, you don't know God. You must give your life to Jesus. You must give. It doesn't make sense. You cannot. The issues of life are you cannot stand it. No human being can stand the issues of life. You need God. One day, we listened to the table of a young lady. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. And our church, I don't believe in but are there some challenges you feel? Say, every time you're not brave, but now you're dead. Now you're to me, now I can't unko. The entire Christ of Foya, Omo Nyami Bi Omo Dom Hotri. At least they know that we have a Nyami We train him. Oh, praise the Lord! We will continue to train on that God. We will continue. Hallelujah! And if for Omo Nyami Bi Omo Dom Hotri, now for Omo Yesu, Bible say, Jabez Okutusre Omo Nyami Bi he petitioned God. Petition is said, What Bless me indeed. I don't want this thing about blessing to be a mirage. I don't want it to be like I'm blessed, but I'm just walking in the shadow of it. Oh God, let the reality of the blessing. The experience of it happened. Said, Oh God, that you bless me indeed. Indeed. And oh God, that you do what? You extend my territory. Erade tremishim. They are tossing me and say, Oh, say, oh, erade. Deliver me from evil or keep me from evil. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of evil in the world. How be brave will reassure it. Ebi wa ye dieni hu, ebi wa ye ntubi mfa ye ni hu. Na ya papa chairman na church e be brown evil. What say say e go be fiscal evil, social evil, personal evil, spiritual evil. Spiritual evil no say Satan. Ni din the devil no e say he is the supreme evil. So they can be spiritual evil and when you read the Bible Psalm 91 verse 3, 5 and 6 or say uh, I want to read outside quickly and then I'll try to bring my message to an end as we get ready to pray. We'll share and Psalm 91, verse 3 and 5 and 6. Ampara, ono no obeji we fru of sum for no epidemu. Any o we are here same. Yari a do woban. Namin obeji we fru. Verse 5. Now we're in through an adubumbo. Bema a tunam area. Verse 6. Or yare dom a and nam sum. So you see the evil I'm trying to talk about. Ha, yare doma, yare na etumin nante. Na nam sum. Ha, sicknesses that are able to walk. Pestilences, they're able to walk. And they walk by the agency of darkness. Till you are there's evil. I mean, and it goes on to insane area, infectious diseases. That in the daytime it will get not a spread. That's what the Bible is talking about. In San Yadia, a say a day it will get right there in our eye. People are dying, it's destroying lives, breaking down the economy. Oh God, that you deliver me from evil. I don't want to be caused evil pain, and I don't want to cause anybody. Me mommy has a minion to me. Oh God, change it for me. I know that when you speak, it will cancel whatever my mom and whatever my dad and whatever. I know, oh God, you are my king. Please, I petition you. The Apostle 9 said, don't, I don't want to cause anybody pain and I don't want to be caused pain. Bible said, I love it. The third part and the last part and my conclusion. I say, and the God of Israel granted this request. The God of Israel the beauty of the story of Jabez, ladies and gentlemen, is that God grants requests. It was a request and the king of heaven granted it. He granted the request that Jabez placed before him. So let me ask you a question. What about if Jabez didn't place his request? Jabez would have continued to be called Jabez. He would cause pain and he would suffer. And he would be ordinary. What kind of Bible now? 
the first thing they say about Jabez is that he, because of it, he became more honorable. He became more blessed. He became greater than his brothers. I don't from Ghana, I'm not a woman. I am not a woman. I am not a woman. I am not a woman. Whatever you are, you are a woman. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, rise up wherever you are. This is time to pray. Let us go to the God of heaven. And when we go there, let's just tell him, Oh God, have mercy. Oh God, heal our land. Oh God, let it change. Oh God, heal our land. Oh God, let it change. Oh God, heal our land. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus.
are coming to thank God for what he did for his church, for keeping his church intact and also the leadership. We're going to thank God for granting the church good leaders, leaders of vision whom through this calamity they are still guiding and directing the church the way we should go. And also we will not forget all the ministers in the world. Everybody who preaches the gospel, that the good, we are thanking God for their lives. Let's begin to pray at this oh, crucial moment.